it's so weary like nobody's talking everyone is like oh my god oh my god oh my god you can for sure feel the extreme tension If you're new here, my name is Bobby, and for the last year I've been traveling around the world full time. However, just like everyone, the coronavirus has pretty much put everything in my life on hold and made everything just very, very confusing. And at the beginning of the virus, my flight back to the US was canceled due to the US closing entry from Europe. So I made the decision to stay with my girlfriend Lucille in her home country of France. And during our quarantine, things have been getting gradually better in France. However, it's been taking quite a lot of time, which has put a clock on my visa. Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a very wild day. You see, about two and a half months ago, I arrived to France thinking that I would depart for the US a month after to go on a road trip. However, as this has turned into a full-blown pandemic, time has become quite an issue as I've been staying here on a three-month tourist visa, which has made me start to wonder, should I stay here or should I go back to the US? Now, this decision has been quite a difficult one because over the last weeks, France has experienced quite a decrease in cases and the US seems to still be reaching a peak in many of the places. And seeing that I don't have a residence in the US, that my health insurance still works here in France, and that I would be taking potentially three flights to get even back to the US, I've decided it's the best decision to stay here in France and try to extend my visa. But this is where it gets a little tricky, which is the reason why today Lucille and I will have to go to her parents' house in the south of France. <laughs> okay. So over the last weeks we've been increasingly able to go outside, but just going to the train station right now to take the train across the country, it feels so freaking weird. Yeah, see. Yeah, and we have officially arrived to the train station, but we do have about an hour before the train, so we're gonna do the best thing you can do before a French train, which is... Crepes. Words cannot express how excited I am for crepes right now. This is wow, but there's so many different types. Absolutely. Is this normal for like having this many type of crepes at a crepe place? Yeah, it's actually this kind of crepe place. It's like what people get when they come back from parties. Oh really? <laughs> so it's like a drunk food? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet or salty? Salty for sure. Bonjour. Oui, je prends un uh, parmentier crepe. Okay. Oui. Et, Et moi je vous prends une galette au sarrasin. Euh, Et... Mélo s'il vous plaît. Mélo, mélo. Gosh, Lucille, that was like an art form. Yeah. Literally watching an art form. What's really cool about these crepes is like usually they sell them this way so uh -huh. that you can eat them on the go while walking back to your home. Oh, seriously? Like when I was growing up, I thought of crepes like having, I don't know, Nutella inside or something like that. <laughs> Not ham, three types of cheeses, an egg. Like, this is crazy. Perfect. This thing is heavy, man. <laughs> All right, so cheers. Cheers to the crepes. To the crepes. Oh, oh my god, you have so much crap on your face. Now normally on trains during dinner time, they'll serve something like kind of an airplane food meal. However, today Lucille said possibly because of the pandemic they won't be serving us yeah, food on the train. Make sense. So we're doing the second best thing and going to one of our favorite bakeries. Bonjour. All the cookies are staring me in the face right here. So Okay, so cookies, one of each. Bonjour. Uh, je prends une focaccia nature oui. et euh, une cookie classique. Merci. Merci Au revoir. Bonne, bonne journée. journée. Okay, we got our massive bakery dinner here. Now let's get back to the train station. Okay, so welcome to the train station here, which is actually super interesting to look around here because it kind of seems like this is how travel would be for the coming months. Like for example, there's a circle on the grounds for people to stand in, making sure they don't stand too close to others. There's police everywhere. Middle seats are not allowed anymore. And obviously comparing to how it normally is here, there's very few people. But it's about 20 minutes before a train board. And currently what we're doing is we're basically going over all of these forms. Lucille, tell, tell me what uh, all these forms are here. Yeah, so basically when you're more than 100 kilometers away from your house, you need to do a specific form. So in France for the last two months, if you've gone outside at all, you've had to take a pass. Think of it like 
a school hall pass almost. And in the beginning two weeks ago, if you went outside past 0.6 miles, you would have been fined over like 130 euro, but now they've spread it out to over 100 kilometers. Not only 100 euros, like I've heard of like multiple offenders getting like fined more and more and like you can maybe end up in jail like up to six months. No way. Yeah. So yeah, so that's why we're taking a little bit of time for these passes here. So we have our passes here. We're gonna go through the police security and hopefully we don't get six months in prison. <laughs> no, <laughs> no we, we have a reason to travel, so it doesn't matter. Oh, and actually before going, a super cool sponsor of today's video, my headphones, Cove. So five words here, the cheapest noise canceling headphones. I honestly cannot say enough good things about these headphones. Not only do they look good and feel so comfy while wearing them, but they also have crazy cool features of a charge that lasts over 12 hours. Of course, Bluetooth enabled. And oh, this is, this is so cool. Lucille, I, I need your help here. So I'm gonna turn these up all the way here. And in this position, we're playing a loud song here. You can't hear anything. Now open it up, Lucille. <laughs> That's awesome. Then a party thing. So absolutely amazing compression on these things. But if you want to buy these same headphones here, go to coveaudio.com backslash LB65. Really guys, even if you're in the realm of thinking of buying noise canceling headphones, these are the ones for you as right now they're going for 70% off. Okay, we officially have to go catch this train. Uh, we are through. Security, Lucille. And I know I shouldn't be excited, but this is the first day I've traveled anywhere in like two months. Like, the train we're taking today is actually a legendary train, which actually is the speed record for commercial trains of 350 miles an hour. Also, something super cool about this high-speed train is I've never seen a bullet train have a double deck. Okay, so welcome to our train cabin. Now, when arriving to my seat, I realized literally no one was talking, which was kind of eerie, but also means to show you around, I'll be silent vlogging. So welcome to my seat and with my seat expert, Lucille. Hey. Okay, so seat expert Lucille, run us through your first class seats. Yeah, of course. So first thing in the armrest, you have a reading light, which turns into a Party light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second, my favorite feature is the nice laying down button, which actually makes me stretch out quite a lot. Um, Lucille, what what are you doing? No, no. What? It's all good. Hey, that's my leg. Ah, feels so good. Hey, that's my feet. <laughs> I stomp on your feet. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, moving along. Next to the seat, we actually have a super efficient thing for a train of a USB port and a plug next to each seat. And talking about the seat itself, it's quite impressive with a massive leather headdress and quite a large, stylish, and impressive comfy seat. Next, we have, of course, the table, which was a literal perfect place to work with the shade that blocked out the sun, but also allowed you to see outside. Now, normally on trains, the features on a computer from the Wi-Fi to programs are let's just say limited but this one actually turned into my personal favorite feature on the train with not only having super fast wi-fi for a train but an array of entertainment from selections of movies which actually for some reason were all titled bobby a personal chat answering service with also a feature to talk to other passengers of course different types of games and a super cool interactive map showing you where you are the speed the time to get to the place and also the different landmarks to see along the way. Okay, now it is time to explore the rest of the train. Okay, now it might sound stupid, but one of the things that I was super interested in before taking this train were the bathrooms. I wanted to see how they would deal with these bathrooms during this time and really how would they manage all of these people. And honestly, I mean, this, it's, it's impressive. Like this bathroom is literally spotless clean. So like I said, on this train, there's a lower section and there's an upper section where we are. And on one half of the train, there's second class, but in the middle, there's this restaurant car. So that's where we're headed now. Okay, so welcome to the restaurant slash bar car here. Now, normally in the restaurant and bar car, you can order just an array of different French specialties, but unfortunately the restaurant is closed back there. But okay, Lucille, what do you think about 
what are your first impressions of this train ride here? Yeah, so I'd say nice and very, very quickly because like we've been seeing like the train being disinfected constantly, no one is talking, everyone's wearing masks, uh, they have plus one seat out of two seats. Yeah, so the good thing is, is they're definitely taking like extraordinary measures. There's a disinfecting staff which is super cool. Like the guy comes around, every time somebody's in the restaurant car, the guy is coming around cleaning. Every time somebody goes down the stairs, he's cleaning. Each car has a disinfecting staff, which is super cool. But yeah, like I, I feel the same thing. Like it is so eerie. Nobody's talking. Oh yeah. Everybody's just sitting. <laughs> yeah, but I do feel super safe. Like uh, this dis disinfecting guy is like, really nice actually like I really like how he disinfected everything before we arrived here yeah yeah that was cool yeah we have, we have our, our bakery our goods yeah. here sanitizing time like a straight 10 for me. It's so fresh, it's so delicious. Honestly, when you look on the inside, it looks almost raw. <laughs> I just realized that we got two pastries and bread for dinner. <laughs> Here, have a bite. Yes. Oh no. no, no! Oh my gosh, this is so brittle. I better not drop this. Oh yeah, I will not for you to drop this. Holy cow, man. That's insane. We are arriving. All right, so welcome everyone to the south of France. That was incredibly special, but weird, but super cool. And I don't know, double-decker trade, such a cool experience.